Hey, how's it going? Just going to show you how to play Somebody That I Used To Know by Elliot Smith today. Just before we jump into it, I'll let you know that if you'd like to support me, you can do so a couple of ways. One of them is Patreon, which is linked below, and that's a place to go to get all my tabs for this song and everything else I've made tutorials for. Um, yeah, really appreciate anyone who jumps on there and decides to, to do that. Really cool. Uh, you can also just buy me a coffee if you don't want to sign up to anything, just a little one-off uh, bit of support. That's linked below as well, and that, that's also very much appreciated. Um, you can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I've also made a Spotify playlist that's got all the songs I've made tutorials for in it, so you can have a listen through that and see if you want to learn anything. Uh, also, if you like and subscribe, that'd be amazing. Anyway, now that's out of the way, let's jump into the lesson. Alright, so for this track, um, it's pretty much just the one set of chords repeated over and over. Um, so I'll go through section by section, give you an example of each part. Um, for this one, I'm actually just going to teach you sort of out of chronological order, just because I'll teach you the verse uh, chords, um, because the intro section is just sort of the verse chords, but finger-picked. Um, so yeah, we've just got that verse, and then the finger-picked version for the intro, um, and then we've just got a couple of short lead lines, and that's the whole tune. Uh, so let's jump into it. So, just in standard tuning, by the way, and we've got a capo on the first fret. So, first section sounds like this. All right, so we start off just with this C over G. So we've got uh, third fret from the capo, everything's relative to the capo. Third fret on the sixth and fifth strings, second fret on the fourth string, open third, first fret on the second, open first. That's our first chord. And in terms of strumming, just sort of down, down, up, down, up. Just that sort of thing, and you kind of can accentuate bass notes um, on that first sort of strum. Just that sort of thing. All right, so yeah, that's our first chord, that C over G. Um, so we just do this twice. Two. Then we go to an F, uh, F major seven over C. So we're just moving these three fingers all up a string. So now we've got third fret from the capo on the fifth and fourth strings, second fret on the third, keep first finger where it was on the first fret on the second string, and open, uh, open first string. Just do that once. Then we go to an E minor. And we kind of do this uh, sort of one and a half times. So it's like when we move up. So E minor, just second fret on the fifth and fourth strings, rest all open. Then sort of walking up to this next chord. Uh, so do that E minor one and a half times. Then we're just playing first fret on the sixth string. Um, and then just sort of hit the bass note and then just strum the open sort of middle three strings if you can. Then we go up to a G7. So we've got sixth, sorry, sixth string on the third fret and then we can kind of hammer on first fret on the first string and all other strings open except sort of muting that fifth string if you can. So, so far, we've got this. And just, um, just yeah, coming out of that G7. Just move that bass note down to the second fret on the sixth string. And just strum the other ones open then. Um, then, we 
go back to that F major 7 over C. So that's uh, third fret on the fifth and fourth, second fret on the third, first fret on the second, and open first. Just do that once. Then we go to this sort of F diminished over A flat. So a bit of a stretch with your fretting hand. Um, so it might just take you a little bit to get in into the right shape here, but yeah, just give it time. So we've got a fourth fret from the capo on the sixth string, muting that fifth string, third fret on the fourth string, fourth fret on the third string, and reaching out with our pinky onto sixth fret on the uh, second string. Again, just do that once. So slotting that in now. And then we go to this um, just little sort of E7 sort of shape. Um, so we've got second fret on the fifth string, first fret on the third string, um, yeah so just doing that, strumming that just sort of once and then basically just move it over um, a fret so now we've got three and two on those same strings. Um, then we go back to that G7 Then we go back to F major 7 over C, which we've played a couple of times now. And we just make it an F minor over C. So from that F major 7, we've got that. And to make it minor, we just flatten the third. So now we're just holding down three on the fifth and fourth strings, and then flattening down our first finger over the first fret on strings three and two. And you can do one as well. Just cycle through that. And repeat. Um, so that is the whole song pretty much, um, all the strumming parts. Um, so then we just play the same chords for the intro section, um, but now we just sort of Travis pick. So um, everything exact same order, exact same chords, we're just doing stuff with our right hand now and, and individual strings. So an example of this sounds like this. So exactly all the same chords as we learnt through the verse. So we're starting with that C over G. And in terms of picking, all sort of Travis picking, so alternating our thumb on sort of bass notes. And then it's a good idea when picking the top few strings, just keep one finger to a string. So I keep first finger on the third string, second on the second string, and third finger on the first string. And then you can just, just so you're not sort of jumping all over the place with your fingers. So start out picking string six and one together. Um, and then three and four together. Then back to six, string two, back to four. So we've got that again so you just do that twice that's the first chord 
Then we change to that uh, F major 7 over C. So again, just moving our fingers up a string, but keeping that first finger anchored. Now the same thing, but we're doing our bass note on the fifth string this time. Just do that the once. Then we go to our E minor. And back to the same picking pattern as the first chord. So we've got six and one together. And then string three and four together. Then we've got that little half chord again, which is just kept staying on the E minor, um, and then so picking strings one and six together, then string four and then three, then we change to just that, uh, holding down that first fret on the sixth string, and then plucking that, then open second. So far, we've got then we go to our G7, which is this. So holding just down third fret on the sixth string, and we're going to hammer on that first string again. So string six on its own, and then we pluck four and one together and then we hammer on hammer on to that first string then we go six two four then pluck six and one together four go to uh, we're going to be holding down this F major over C so we're just flattening our first finger now to get that first fret um, on the first string and we're just plucking five and one together um, so just sorry five and then one and four together go to that diminished so you're going to slide into fourth fret then we go three four back to the bass six and then hit that uh, third fret on the fourth string again that's that chord then we've just got the which is just holding down uh, second on the fifth and one on the third play them together open the second string then move it across so you've got three and two now exact same thing just pluck them together and open the second string and we go back to our G7 um, pretty much exactly the same thing as first G7 just play that again um, and then we go to our and this is when it sort of gets a bit strummy and leads into the rest of the, the song which is all all strummed for the rhythm guitar um, so we just go to that that F over C um, so just play the bass note which is the fifth string this time then play string four three two together sort of bounce between those and then when you get to this this um, F minor over C um, just start strumming basically and that gets you back to the top and into the song when the vocals come in um, but yeah that's the whole finger picked intro um, follow along with the tabs for a bit bit of a clearer understanding but that's yeah that's how you do it 
All right, the next uh, part to learn, pretty much the last part to learn, is just the little lead line that comes in. Happens twice. Um, first time and the second time are almost identical. Just the second time through, it's um, just got a slightly different tail on the end. So the first time through sounds like this. start off with this little run so we're just going between the open first string and sort of making our way down the third string so we go open first to five on the third back to open first then we've got two on the fifth fret open first down to four on the third now Open first, down to two, open first, open, and then second fret on the fourth string. So we've got then we've got which is just sort of slide into fourth fret on the third string to open. Then we've got I'm sliding into 5th fret on the 2nd string now. Little chromatic walk down, 5, 4, 3. And 5 on the 3rd string. And then we've got this little... Which is 2, hammer onto 4, pull off back to 2, pull off to open, then hit the open string again. Then we've got... Which is... On the fourth string, open. Then we've got open hammer on to two, pull off to open again. Finish on three on the fifth. Then we're just sort of sitting on this. Um, so just hitting the third string, sorry, third fret a few times, up to five. Back to three. Then we go up to seven. This is all on the fifth string. down to five back to seven then we've got which is seven 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 eight seven back down to five um, so so far we've got Um, so five seven five three, um, and just sitting on three till um, just got that one little slide up to five. Um, and yeah, that's the lead line. Um, so then the lead line exactly the same, but the one that happens at the end just to finish the track has a slightly different tail on it and sounds like this. Okay, so um, the chords that happen just underneath it just to finish us off. Um, once we hit that F minor, we just go back to C, then we've got sort of F minor again. So we're just flattening our first finger over um, first fret, four, three, two. Then we go just second fret on the fifth string, open four, three, two. On a C, you can throw that um, G in at the bass as well. Uh, 
Uh, so that's what's happening uh, rhythm guitar wise underneath it. Um, and then the lead line, exactly the same as what we learnt just before. Um, but after we do the... Just that little end bit, instead of sitting on um, third fret, we sort of go back up to five, down to two, then three on the fifth string. Then we've just got this... Open uh, on the fourth string, open four, one, sorry, open one, three, then two on the fifth, open fourth, and then uh, back back home, back to C. Um, and you can just play it as a full chord or just hit that uh, third fret on the fifth string. Um, but that's it for this one. That's all the parts to learn. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Hope you enjoyed learning that one and playing along with it when you get it down. Um, yeah, just got into Elliot Smith in the last few weeks, and yeah, he's amazing. Um, such a such a huge loss. So so um, yeah, get his music out there and, and keep playing it. Um, but yeah, thank you again for watching and listening. If you'd like to support me, you can jump on Patreon link below. Big thanks to everyone who supports me there. Really do appreciate it. Um, you can buy me a coffee. Um, check out Facebook, Instagram, um, check out the Spotify playlist, and you can also leave a like and subscribe if you want. That'd be amazing. But that's it for this one. I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.